Hi all, Planetside Agent here. Uh, today I'm going to do a video. This is a follow-on to the one, previous one I did on the new items that I've added to my uh, Pathfinder um, bottle kit. And uh, today I'm going to test to see uh, which performs better if there or if there is even a difference in one using the path, Pathfinder uh, stove that you know is designed for used inside of a fire you just mash that down in the in your coals or around your fire it just gives you a flat platform to set your cup on uh, to boil water and uh, but you can also and it does work you can put a Trangia type stove underneath it and uh, use it as the pot stand rather than having a supplemental pot stand like you one of these that is designed for Trangia type stoves alcohol burners uh, Anyway, so I wondered if there's a difference because the last time I used this, it seemed like it took a lot longer than than it, than other wood st or uh, alcohol burners I have. So I thought I wonder if there is any kind of a difference between using this and using this. So I'm going to do a boil test with uh, both of these, the little X1 and the stove. So anyway, I have uh, I've got the uh, the uh, alcohol stove all uh, fired up. Or fueled up and I this is part of my kit and I, I carry this sort of thing on all my alcohol burners and what this is this is an old uh, political yard sign got to use those stupid things for something and uh, they're kind of corrugated so I, uh, I cut those out and then I cover it with uh, aluminum foil and I use this as an insulator to help the performance on these alcohol stoves so they're not sitting on the on the cold ground and especially these uh, pressurized type, you know, they if they get too cold, they won't bloom. So that's why I always have uh, take one of these. It weighs nothing really. So anyway, so let's uh, let's. I'm going to run the first test with the uh, Pathfinder stove. So we'll take the uh, lid off this, fire up the stove. Yeah, I know. I I could use a I could use a lighter. And I got a frail rod over here, but you know, I'm just going to use a match because they're quicker. The nice thing about matches over a lighter for light knee shows for alcohol stoves is that alcohol, it ignites very quickly like gasoline and um, you can't see it. So if you're getting in there with a, with a lighter, you know, you've got to get away much quicker when it lights off where with a uh, match, you got some stand standoff capability. <laughs> There we go. It's on its way. So I'm just go ahead and cover this up anyway. I think I'll wait for it to start to. I'm gonna wait till it comes to full bloom before I put the uh, water on. I do have the uh, the the pot that came with the Pathfinder kit, and I've got 16 ounces or two cups of water, or just shy of 500 milliliters of water in this thing, and. Uh, yeah, it looks like this thing's blooming already, which is good. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on. Now, I don't have another timer out here. Uh, so I'm just going to use uh, the old-fashioned way. So it's about uh, 229 and 55 seconds. 229 and 50. So I'll just go ahead and write that down. And uh, when it starts to boil, I'll write the time down. And then I'm going to use real math or more accurately arithmetic to uh, figure out how long it burned <laughs> so uh, probably with two cups this is going to take about uh, 10 minutes so uh, I won't make you suffer through just watching a uh, pot on a workbench <laughs> do that so when this when this starts to boil I'll uh, bring this back up and uh, calculate the times and uh, tell you what I came up with so we'll see in a little bit. Hey guys, uh, back again. I think I realized why I didn't really like this arrangement. Excuse me. Or uh, get over here uh, for using the tran using the, uh, the the Pathfinder stove with the Trangia. You can see that there's not a lot of area for heat to escape from under it between the uh, bottom of the pot and the. Uh, top of the stove and you can see now the flames are actually coming licking out the the feed hole I guess you could call it that and the I'm making you seasick with this 
and the uh, vent holes in the back. So you can see that's not very efficient and it probably is going to take longer. So uh, I don't, uh, now that I remember now what I didn't like about this when I did it, but this was back in August. So my memory, I'm old, so my memory's short. <laughs> so anyway, um, I, I'm probably, I'm probably just going to curtail this and just say that I don't think it's a good idea. It's not efficient. It could probably actually be a, a little dangerous because you could get a bit of a runaway because that's quite a bit of flame coming out of there right now. By runaway, it's heating the whole stove and really throwing the fuel out. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this thing up and, and uh, cool the pot down and I'll just do a reg burn test with the, uh, the X thing here. So I'll be back. Okay, I, I did get the inferno shut down when I took the... Uh, Took the pot off, boy. The flames really started charging up out of the uh, the uh, stove here, and uh, I'd use my screwdriver to get this off. But yeah, I had quite a quite an inferno going there. And uh, actually, this thing would, had been running just shy of ten minutes, and uh, I was just barely starting to get some little bubbles in the water. So not very efficient. And uh, I'm gonna. My recommendation is. Uh, don't do this. <laughs> Go ahead and, and spend a few bucks and uh, get yourself one of these. There's other type of, of uh, pot stands you can use for uh, for the Trangias, but you know this is small, light, and it, like I said, if you're using this using in in the Pathfinder kit, then it does it does store in there very convenient. So anyway, so now I'm just gonna just do another burn just for completeness I guess of using this little guy here I did think about also using it as using this as the pot stand because um, but it'd be nice if well it'd be nice if, it, if the uh, Trangia and I'm not going to touch it right now because it's hot would fit in these little slots and uh, uh, you know use that for a pot stand See, that's the main reason I, I kind of went with this is, you know, I, I didn't want to have to get a carry or come up with another pot stand. I said, oh, this fit in here. This will be perfect, but it's not perfect. I was wrong. Oh, by the way, the, uh, the Lexata stoves, since I'm hot on the subject, do come with an alcohol burner. And this, this will nest in the, down here inside this. And uh, you just pour alcohol and burn it off. It, it'll work. I'm, it's not as efficient as as say the uh, a Trangia or a Fancy Feast type uh, alcohol burner. So anyway, but I think uh, this will drop in here, but you might still have the same problem with a little bit, you know, too much heat contained in here and getting a bit of a runaway, although there is a much bigger hole. I think that's this or not. <laughs> Had to, you know, it has a little bit bigger hole, a little bit more venting than say the this one, so. But you are, when this sits down in here, you're still quite a ways from the flame to the bottom of the pot. So it won't be quite as efficient as if you use the regular pot stand. So anyway, it's kind of becoming a uh, topic on alcohol stove usage. So anyway, uh, I'll turn this off for now and let things cool down a bit and uh, refresh the water out. And we'll just try the, the burner on this guy. Okay, getting ready for uh, test number two here. So let's go ahead and fire the stove up. Since it's already still kind of warm, I'm sure it will uh, probably bloom pretty quick. Oh yeah. Give it a sec to bloom. Eh, maybe I'll turn the lights off while I wait for it. that pop man it came to life quick anyway let's go ahead and uh, yeah. funny thing about these Trangias and I don't really know the reason why is uh, even though I'm using uh, uh, heat which is 100% alcohol it, it still burns a little yellow where some of my other the other style burners like the uh, fancy feast the, the flames are blue so but anyway this this stove's been this burner's been around for for years and years and it's been used it works uh, so anyway i'm not 
overly concerned. So anyway, as you can see, that uh, fits on there really nice. Let's see what time we got here. 35 even. And we'll go ahead and uh, let this burn. And uh, this probably uh, really, it's probably really not necessary to do a, a boil test on this uh, because this sort of thing's been done hundreds of times by by other uh, other YouTubers testing different alcohol. So the, the alcohol burners tend to all burn about the same time to boil water. But anyway, I imagine sometimes the variations is how wide the pot is. And one of the, uh, just to kind of ramble on about alcohol stoves, things I've discovered is that um, some of the older stoves had big, wide burners. Let me go turn the lights on real quick. I probably should just do a separate video on my commentaries on some thoughts on uh, on stove designs, but but to cut short, uh, some of the old old stoves, both gasoline, white gas, and uh, butane, propane, and always had pretty wide burners. And I think that's because back in the old days, uh, where I grew up, pots tended to be bigger. Most of them were at least five inches or more across. Uh, so you know, they could handle a bigger flame. But nowadays, most everybody's going with, uh, you know, narrower pots like this size, you know, the 750 milliliter sort of pot. So you know, if you have a big wide burner, most of the flame is just going out and around the pot, so it's not as efficient where now some of the burners like the, the Fancy Feast or the Trangia still works. Uh, they're a little bit smaller, so you get more direct flame onto it. I guess when you get some of them that, uh, that, that the flame comes out of the center with a separate pot stand, you know, they just hit in the bottom of the stove and spreading out, so I imagine those are more efficient. Although, some people have tested different different stoves and this is by far one of the most efficient stoves there is, or burners, burner stove. So anyway, maybe I'll do a separate video just rambling on about that. So anyway, go ahead and let that burn. I'll probably uh, just time it, see how long it takes. And uh, in the meantime, I got to, <laughs> while we're just sitting here waiting, I'm going to be productive while I wait for this to burn. I'm going to uh, take my work sharp uh, knife sharpener and put a sharp edge on this uh, putty knife because uh, my wife's downstairs trying to take off. Now, this is my com my commentary, my opinion, stripping off some old wallpaper. And I think wallpaper is total BS. I hope I don't hurt anybody's feelings. <laughs> but because they start to peel, and now she's having a heck of a time getting the particular glue off of these uh, tried different chemicals and uh, I'm going to sharpen this up and see if this will help scrape it off but you know I'm not a wallpaper guy paint is fine with me but uh, anyway uh, as you can see I'm a paint guy but you can see how that battle happened uh, I lost that but she's she put it up and she's taking it down so I, I guess I can't complain <laughs> but I am going to say I think wallpaper is stupid and I wouldn't recommend it but you know Nobody listens to me anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'll get back to you when this boils. Okay, I got a roiling boil. Took a look at the clock. It took uh, about 11 minutes, which uh, is about, about standard for uh, these kind of stoves. So uh, definitely uh, was doing better than the uh, when I had it inside the, the uh, Pathfinder wood stove now the only problem with using this arrangement in the field in order to snuff it out you're going to have to uh, remove the uh, these so you're going to need something a stick chopsticks or your leatherman or whatever I'm in the shop I'm just going to use a pair of pliers to remove this but I imagine just about anything you can find to uh, <clears throat> to take that off and then then you can take the snuffer and Poof, you're done so anyway uh, so uh, my recommendation and what I'm going to do is I'm not going to use this as a pot stand like I hope for I think I'll just uh, use the 
<clears throat> the new uh, T thing I have here. And, uh, and for a windscreen, I'm just going to get a, some aluminum foil. You know, it weighs nothing. You can fold it right up. It'll slide right in the pocket here. So I'll just use aluminum foil for a windscreen. So uh, I might make it big enough to maybe use it for when I use this, uh, this wood stove. I don't know, but uh, sometimes wind can be a problem. But anyway, uh, so that's kind of the, the findings. Just to sum it all up, I would say I recommend do not use this as a pot stand for your Trangia alcohol burner because it, it's not efficient and I think it's, uh, it's a little uh, scary when the flames are running up this high. And so just go ahead and uh, find whatever kind of pot stand that you like for the Trangia. Or if you don't want to have to worry about a pot stand, uh, the only the reason I'm using this is because it, it fits nicely, you know, in this kit, where this won't work as well in this particular kit. And I'm not really worried about weight so much with this kit. I use this one mostly uh, on my uh, kayak when I'm out. I can just throw it in the in the boat and make coffee or something if I want to pull over. But uh, if you don't want to have to worry about, if you're look, worrying about weight, then... This is your guy because he's got the built-in pot stand and it's the most efficient. But anyway, so find your own pot stand or like I say, find, uh, find these, uh, these little guys on, uh, on eBay and, uh, and use those. So that's, uh, that's it for this video and I uh, hope you enjoyed it and I didn't ramble on too much. So uh, we'll uh, talk to you later. Bye-bye.